My film is about a family in central Vietnam and they, they are living in a village which is flooded every year during the rainy season and in my film they, uh, their village is, gets relocated from the government and uh, they have the chance to, to settle to a higher ground nearby and to build a, a new house for, for living and to start a new life. And uh, I went there to Vietnam in two years ago in, in winter 2008 uh, during the rainy season and first of all I was uh, interested mainly in the topic of the problematic of the mines and bombs like, which are still lying there in the ground. And, but when I went there um, I got more and more into the topic of the flooding and um, I went to the central of Vietnam and I, I found the family mainly by accident and uh, and when I met them they uh, they told me that they are going to um, take part in a lot drawing so in a kind of lottery which decides which lot on the new hill they they will get and so, so the place they will they will move to and uh, from this point on I decided to make a film about the family and uh, about the new topics so or about the topic of the flooding and uh, then from this day on I, f I followed the family um, for, for nearly one month. So for me it was more um, more to show how uh, so the, the way of the way of thinking of, of, the, of a family so how, how strong they are so they are living under really hard circumstances so um, the weather conditions are very hard and the, the, yeah, the problematic of, of, the, of the Vietnam War and uh, but uh, Despite of these problems, they really um, have a, have really big happiness and really a positive way of thinking. And this was a, uh, a point which I was very interested in and um, which impressed me very much and which I also wanted to show on the film. It was a very untypical situation in which I was because so I, I cannot speak Vietnamese and the family of course cannot speak German or English and so we so I worked mostly without without a translator and so I, I, I shot with them for one month without uh, being able to communicate with them without being able to speak to use words so um, I had just in the beginning in my research I had a translator and he explained to the family yeah this is Andreas and he's interested in your life and he wants to follow your your life and they said, okay, he's welcome, he can stay with us in our house. And so I, I spent uh, with him these four weeks without uh, using words. And so the technical um, equipment, so like the camera, became a kind of a, um, a communication tool instead of the words we used to, to communicate to each other. And it was very, I think the camera was very important for our relation we got during this uh, shooting.